Hey guys, Beanie here from Small Business Marketing Ideas TV. Now I was on a um, very important webinar the other day with um, Ed Dahl from Third Day Challenge Education. Anyway, they're talking about Facebook, right, and how um, vitally important Facebook is becoming, particularly in small business. And they're talking about small businesses like hairdressers and stuff. They're getting 500, 800 fans and that sort of stuff. That's hugely powerful to have that sort of. Um, Thing working for you so you can get an effective message out to those people if you need to business is a little bit quiet or whatever and uh, you can just shoot a message out let them know what's going on and bring more people into your business anyway but you've got to use Facebook the right way and what we're going to talk about today is uh, there's a lot of garbage out there from um, internet marketers um, who are very good internet marketers and know how to sell on uh, Google and um, they're coming over to Facebook and they're trying to do the same stuff that they're doing on uh, Google as in opt-ins and force opt-ins and squeeze pages and sales pages and all the rest of it they're trying to use that that tactic from Google they're trying to use it on Facebook and then they're saying Facebook doesn't work doesn't convert to sales and just carrying on with a whole heap of garbage drummer is Facebook's not the place for them they don't know how to use Facebook Facebook is a social platform as keep telling it it's people are on their socializing so if you try and bring all your garbage your uh, interruption marketing or not garbage I mean it has a place its places on Google it's not on Facebook so that's what the title of this video is internet marketers Facebook there's no place for you and the reason it's no place for you is as I say it's social site so you need to get on there you build relationships if you want people the word to spread about your Facebook fan page more people to come to your page we go back to what I was talking about in Justin Harold's book um, late last year where he created an experience in his shop and he put you know set lounge chairs up and all the guys come in buy attitude shirts and all the rest of it. he put lounge chairs so like a sit down a big screen TV blokes riding motorboat motorbikes crashing and all the rest of it and uh, he didn't have to advertise the business word of mouth took that out and took it away he created an experience people come there experienced it went away talk about it, told all the friends all the friends come as well Facebook's exactly the same create an experience on there, add value for people, give them something worth talking about, they'll go out and spread the message for you. And uh, that's why it's different to Google. It doesn't happen that way on Google. Not exactly the same way it does on Facebook. It spreads on Facebook because it's so easy. You've got the like button, remember? You hit the like button. On average, they've got 130 friends. They're telling a heap of people. All people come in. All right. So that's it for today. Remember. Forget that, uh, it's not gar as I say, it's not garbage. These guys are smart. A lot of these guys are smart internet marketers and they know how to market on Google. But you can't use what's on Google on Facebook. Not going to work. All right, that's it for today. Remember what Seth Godin says on Lynchpin? You can either stand out or fit in, but not both. So if you want to make your business stand out online, don't use your internet marketing from Google and give me a call. I'll show you how to do it because that's what I do. Speak something.